Right, so to the hammerhead. We will um, mix a nice steel tone, again using uh, model color turquoise, black and white. And we just uh, base color it the medium tone, but more on the darker side. Mm -hmm. When you're doing non-metallic um, silver, not silver, but just metal, basically not gold, is what I'm going to say. Uh, it's always good to have a, a blue hue in the in the paint. Yeah, that will make the metal look uh, colder and uh, therefore somehow um, also a little bit more reflective. Yeah. And if it's not in there, sometimes uh, the hammer has the tendency to look a little bit like stone, uh, which actually on the artworks, it looks almost like stone, uh, which is interesting. But uh, we'll do it metal. By the way, the new artworks are also awesome. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, enough. We've, we've seen uh, artworks, especially like, uh, as a big fan of Space Marines, like, over the last decades, uh, but sometimes you would see stuff repeat and now we've got all new artworks and it's actually quite exciting. Right, so for um, the next step we will go directly for highlights um, with it, uh, again the loaded brush. First the highlight here on the top, I want the this edge here to be highlighted. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's uh, the official reason, but I would say that one of the reasons to do it like this is because the other surface, the one that um, kind of the lower surface now, the one that actually um, faces the observer, this one, yeah, uh, because it's metal, the usually you the way you do it is that the top part is dark, and the bottom part gets lighter on the on the main surface, um, just up opposite of the normal light, basically. Yeah. I also, know, I don't know if you've did this uh, because of that, but. Also, I did that because I want to create a highlight here on this um, rounded edge here. Yeah. And I need some darker color to contrast that yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the second thing I want to say is that, uh, of course, uh, in non metallic metal, um, you uh, always want to try to face a very light part uh, next to a very dark part, and that's what you're going to see in the next few minutes here. The same color that I use for the edge right here. Yeah, that edge just catches the light on both yeah. And I will uh, now mix the color that is not as bright as the highlight that I just did, um, but quite a bit lighter than the base color to get the first light here. Interesting. I would have thought that you would do the dark part first. Well, I think if I go um, quite a bit brighter here on this part, I might not even really need to darken the upper part down. Ah, okay. Actually, see how thin that paint just now was, and that then just pushed it around a little bit just to create a little surface film almost uh, before drying. And of course, when you do it like this, you always have these little coffee stains on the side, but knowing Ben, he'll fix those. Quite a bit brighter here for 
the main use case. See now the, the highlight was very very white and very very wide, <laughs> so um, just by using a, a paint that is um, a little darker again, I can just narrow things a lot down literally and smooth things out to the side as well. So the highlight doesn't appear to be this square blob somewhere. Change the little bit of the lighter color um, down here. You want to create a slight gradient in that uh, horizontal area as well. Yeah. Get the element. Is it called horizontal? I don't know. You know what I mean. The, the thing that comes, it's not really horizontal, but. Uh, the side of the hammerhead. Yeah, the side of the hammerhead. There you go. <laughs> Space above and beyond. Next step is some type brown with a little bit of black. To uh, frame the rivets here a bit. Also use uh, some glaze of tape brown here to increase the shadow on the top. And this uh, tape brown does a lot of things right now that uh, might not come to mind right away. First of all, of course, it's uh, going to darken things. Secondly, it's uh, desaturating the blue because uh, red and blue are kind of on the opposite scale of things, uh, and that make darkening it uh, and desaturating it turns it into a little bit more of a blackish gray. And um, plus, you have a warm, uh, cold contrast going on. So that's like that little tank brown there. When you really think about it, does a lot of crap, and it looks very pretty on top of that. Yeah, it changes the um, the tone quite a bit, mm -hmm. and. Um, it's it's actually quite amazing how blue it looked in the beginning, and how gray it's it's now. When you're doing these kind of glazes, um, rather err on the thin side. Yeah, because if it's too thick, it looks horrible. Um, rather do three thin glazes <laughs> than one that's too thick. Yeah, definitely. <coughs> I think I would just continue like that on the other side of the uh, of the hammer. Mm -hmm. Do uh, you do uh, scratches and stuff as well at the end, or uh, just maybe one or two? But I uh, want to keep that very uh, clean. Okay. Me. All right. So we'll uh, do the uh, other sides of the hammer off cam. It's basically the same stuff, and then we'll come back for like the final touches. Mm -hmm. All right. You finished the hammer off cam. Yeah, we just finished the other side. Uh, same as we do on this side. Hammer time. Hammer time. Very nice. Um, we will now add um, some scratches, especially here to the huge front part. Yeah. And maybe a little bit here on the top. Um, scratches, just the very same way as we did them on the other parts. So, um, tank brown and black.
And again, if the tip of your brush doesn't look like this tip, my tip would be get a different brush. <laughs> And uh, light blue, not really white, but quite bright uh, for some highlights. Mm -hmm. and a bit of pure white to pick out some edges. And again, you see how Ben doesn't create just a one thick line on top of everything. This gives a little bit of interruptions and different thicknesses and these kind of things just make it look much more interesting. that uh, it's quite nice um, to show you how you can really break up a large surface like that and give it a lot more life yeah just uh, just without the scratches it just doesn't look good it's too big a surface and again if your blending is 100% perfect then you can always go ahead and uh, put a scratch over that area and then it's going to be 100% perfect <laughs> yeah. And these little highlights, they make a big difference. Um, I think you can all see that. Just uh, three little dots, but that is really increasing the contrast right there. Nice. All right. All right. So um, that is for the for the hammerhead. Mm -hmm. um, for the handle of the hammer, we uh, will go for some tank brown, um, mixing that with a bit of black. All right, before we continue, we have to make sure uh, the layer is completely dry. I will use a blow dryer to speed things up. Mm -hmm. um, the color is very dark, so uh, once it's dry, it will almost look black. Okay. Yeah, it's very, very dark. We can actually tell it's not black, but yeah, it is dark. Um, so now I'm mixing a highlight color from tank brown and white, a little bit. Uh, the same brightness as on the loincloth and just try to pick out the upper edge of that texture. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's mostly busy work actually, it's not difficult. It's very difficult if you don't have a tip in the brush, but... <laughs> I'm quite a bit brighter for small highlights.
I'm making a bit darker for the highlights here closer. Okay. And I place with some pure tank brown. We want to bring up base saturation a bit. And we start applying it here to the sides. It also takes the, takes back the highlights just a little bit, a little little too strong a moment ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll do the the backside in the the very same manner, um, but I will do that off cam because it's just the very same and it's a little hard to reach. Um, right. That's also another little piece you wanted to do off cam. Yeah, I want to do the uh, small uh, parts of cloth that you see here. Mm. Um, right now they're just black, but uh, I just want to add like tiny little grayer highlights. And I don't want to introduce another color because I like the uh, contrast between the golden shiny parts and the the dark color mm -hmm. quite a bit. Um, and yeah, same the same with the belt. It's just uh, gonna be a gray color um, to highlights. Okay, so yeah, we'll we'll not uh, show this on cam. Um, it's gonna be pretty simple. Mm -hmm. um, and because some of these uh, places are a little kind of in the recesses and hard to reach, we'll do that off cam. Yeah. All right. We'll be back after that. All right.